Rubber Von Ducker here, and today I'm going to be talking about GameStop. GameStop, for those who don't know, is a video games retailer and is in the press currently because of uh, effectively a battle between short sellers and Reddit investors, which has led to the stock price for GameStop going through the roof. And there's a couple of interesting things to say here. Um, let's start with the most obvious. And the title I'm guessing this will be of the of the episode, which is, Has Reddit Just Stopped the Apocalypse? By saying that, what I really mean is, if we look at the situation of the short sellers, Melvin Capital and I think Citron Capital, I'm guessing, what was their intentions in this? Well, their intention was to short the stock to make a profit. Was that their only intention? Probably not. We all know financially most of the world economy is struggling right now, retail especially. And so what I think they were effectively trying to do was destabilise the retail sector of uh, the stock market. So what I'm effectively saying there is by short selling and making a killing on GameStop, they would hope that other short sellers would join the market, that there would be investor panic, specifically in GameStop. I mean, that's why you're selling 125% of a company, or 120% of a company. So their job there is to induce fear to drive the price of the stock down, and thus make a profit when they buy the shares back. Short selling basically works on the basis that you sell shares you don't have, but you buy them back. And because this can be done within a two-week window called the account period, whereby all trades have to be settled with by the end of that, that two-week period, they could make money from that situation. Make no mistake, their agenda was to create fear in the invest investment market that would spur other short sellers to sell other stock. And if it wasn't for Reddit right now, we'd probably be talking about how badly the stock market is doing, specifically retail stocks, although there'd be others as well. I'm not sure where AMC, the cinema chain, would lie in that. I'd call them retail, but they may be classed as events. Obviously, events companies will be hit. It, it would trigger to an avalanche of short selling which would see a massive hit on the Dow and all the business companies would be talking about that right now. That's not what happened. What happened was somebody did the math. Someone actually sat down and did the math again. It's amazing how that works out for people. And they determined uh, that actually there was a way to, to win this without shorting and in fact at the expense of a shorters. And they basically decided to buy this stock they also recommended it to some people now a lot of people would make you think that this is something that's happened overnight it's not it's something that snowballed over a period a considerable period of time uh, possibly a year it's just kind of hit the headlines now but effectively people have been taking up positions within game over that period and these short sellers have come in and decided we're going to short the stock even though yeah GameStop's got problems but realistically it had back when its share was at a reasonable market value it had some points for and against but these short sellers presumably didn't really look at that I'm guessing they just went retail bit of a bad reputation easy easy prey and that didn't work out too well so what they did effectively was they spread the news and the fact that they the, the short sellers sold 120 percent of the stock is significant because I'm not sure this would have worked if they hadn't. But effectively what I think we're looking at is that the Reddit and Robinhood investors have bought such a, an amount of the stock that it's effectively fixed the game. But I'm getting ahead of myself. What we've also got to talk about is why did the hedge funds sell 120% of, of the total stock capital or share capital? 120% of a share capital. And I might actually have an answer to that. You see, I, I did have a look quickly at GameStop's accounts, and anyone who's followed my streaming videos will know that I've mentioned share dilation quite a bit. One of the first things I noticed when I looked at their accounts was this wasn't the case in game. In fact, quite the opposite was true. The number of shares in circulation had previously been, I think, 2017, 
about 100 million. But since then, they had embarked on a number of share buybacks, whereby they buy shares, the company itself buys shares in itself from the market, effectively taking them off the market. And by doing so, they had reduced their share count down to roughly about 86, 87 million. Now, this may be why they, why they shorted 120, they may have only been actually trying short 100% of the company. However, if they were going by old data, they may have believed they were shorting 100%, but because of a share buyback, actually shorted 120%. These Reddit investors went out, and I believe they've actually cornered the stock that they effectively i suspect the total share ownership of gamestop is probably in the hands of reddit users i think even at this point the institutional investors would have sold out i just don't know if anyone who was originally in gamestop before this started is still in there now what does that mean? It means that, well, we're in, first of all, we're in, in uncharted territory. That much is certain. I think what it really means, though, is there is no price that GameStop shares can't go to. And here's the interesting thing. I think what's happened here has been fueled by Robin Hood accounts. For those who don't know, Robin Hood is the upstart in the uh, share trading industry specifically in america but i think it does cover areas as well from the little i know of it and again it's going back to reddit i've heard reddit stories of uh, people trading on the stock market or derivative forms of the stock market and one of the things i i do remember seeing and thinking hmm that's a bit crazy was that uh, if you go on this robin hood app you can actually get well you can actually trade on margin which basically is a crack cocaine of share dealing it's like i don't have money today but i'm so certain that this tip that i'm gonna bet on margin which means you basically got say say you've got ten thousand pounds of your own money in it they'll let you borrow money up to a certain amount on top using the money you've paid in as effectively collateral now some of the figures i've seen seems to me imply that you can effectively i think someone has actually duped the system so that they can effectively get insane amounts of money on margin and that may be what's happened here furthermore the share price hasn't just been going up it's been going up and down it's been heavily fluctuating now to a large extent people are saying well that's the effect of other short sellers or short, short sellers in the market coming in and that would make sense because if you're a short seller your immediate thought's going to be well this isn't a situation that can hold forever you know either these guys well but basically what they'll be thinking is we just need to find more money at this and eventually the share price will go down because if we sell 300% of the shares, then what else is going to happen? And here's where the problem comes in. As I've previously said, I believe the Reddit users own all the shares. Well, if the Reddit users own all the shares, there's no shares on the market to buy. So you're shorting and putting them out there. Heck, there's probably more shares been purchased than there actually is and there's probably people who are going to find out that they don't actually own shares in GameStop at this point in time because they're already held by someone else so we're effectively I think we're effectively in a position where GameStop is owned by Reddit and anyone shorting right now yeah you'll you may well drive the price down for a very short period and to be honest i wouldn't be surprised if some of these investors aren't selling as well now once they've sold they may well back in buy back in but they're selling to pay off their margin effectively so if they're doing it right they're effectively margining themselves up to the max going in buying a load of GameStop shares then once they've appreciated sufficiently that it's worth their while they're dropping back out causing the price to drop paying off part of their margin and going again and I'm guessing you can do this if all the shares are owned by people who don't want to sell then technically if you're just putting in buy orders they can't be fulfilled it just pushes the price up so i'm guessing we're looking at that kind of scenario now i say i'm guessing because i don't think this scenario has ever occurred before maybe sometime in the 17th century but not since big bang in 1989 this is unknown territory it, yeah it's got similar feel to white knights of the past who used to come in and try and defend a share price against a hostile takeover by buying up the shares 
very similar strategy. But in this case, they've cornered the market of share. So you can't, realistically, you can't buy no matter what the price. You can sell, but then if, you, if you're shorting, you've got to buy back and you can't buy. So anyone shorting right now on this stock is just insane. Just insane. And the thing that they they themselves, I suspect, are buying and selling, buying and selling, taking profits. It, it's a bit bit like a stepladder. If you've got enough people to do that, you could effectively do it all the way to the moon, as people are saying. You can, you can make GameStop worth more than probably the whole planet at some point. So that's the situation we're in. And if they're selling, please God tell me you're paying off the margin. If they're selling, they can pay off the margin. And ultimately, at the end of this, what do they get? They get their shares in GameStop for free. And however much cash they make that didn't have to clear off the margin. Which, looking at the figures for Melvin Capital, is in the billions already. And I'm guessing Melvin and Citroen Capital aren't the only ones. I'm also guessing that some bright spark has thought, ah, end of a two-week notice. If we short now, as long as as long as this ends within the next two weeks, we can make a killing. Because when this situation ends, the share price has to plummet. Well, if they've bought, if they've bought GameStop on margin, they don't have to sell. They could effectively make a profit and keep their shares in GameStop and just keep it going higher. And I don't see that there's any mechanism or any way to stop it. I mean, it is a bit of a self-fulfilling prophecy to some degree that it still requires people willing to buy in all the time but i suppose if the short traders have gone and all the shares are taken up then i guess just one person bidding for one stock will keep pushing it up it's like having it's like being in space there's no there's no gravity there's no there's nothing to hold it back that seems to be the situation they've cornered the market so to answer the question of how long can this go on, it could go on forever. Um, how long will hedge funds keep losing money? As much as they're willing to throw money at it. If they're willing to short this stock, I would work on the basis you're going to lose money right now. Uh, I don't see any other scenario. But I suspect at some point this will come to an end. I hope it comes to an end at some point because it seems so bizarre that it could go on forever um but it might be able to go on forever it really is a crazy situation it's never been done before a fair play i'm gonna raise a toast to the good investors of reddit for making me laugh <laughs> if nothing else for shoving it to that hedge fund for stopping the apocalypse or the financial apocalypse we will still have to have it i'm sure at some point unless you manage to get short selling stopped which i would love short selling in stocks shouldn't be allowed commodities i can accept they're two different things for two different reasons but there shouldn't be short selling of stocks full stop end of it's never made any sense and this is now just exposed that there is problems with the stock market system one of which being what do you do when all the stocks are taken up by a bunch of people who aren't of the same organization here's a crazy thing if you've been a company and you bought all the stocks yourself you'd have had to have declared a takeover at some point they don't have to because not enough people own enough of one stock for that to be the case so takeover rules don't apply here and the thing is i don't think anyone even knows i don't I, I suspect there's some i dare say the person who did the math the first time probably knows yeah we've got all the shares but most of the rest i don't think they do I, I, but i think it would be illogical to think there's any more shares out there when you've had a, a hedge fund lose best part of 13 billion yeah I don't think there's any shares out there on the open market. So if you want this to stop hedge funds, stop shorting this stock. It's that simple. Uh, otherwise, you're just going to watch it. I mean, either way, I think you're going to just watch it go up until until Reddit loses interest in this stock. Uh, and even maybe not after then, maybe, maybe we've already got to a point where one person's amassed so much cash from this situation, they've effectively just gone... Oh, well, I've made X amount and I've got my money back and I've got these shares in GAT. You know what? I'm just going to keep the games in share stock. Not knowing he's got, what, 50% of a company or something to have. So one would presume they'd know, but you never, you just never know. But yeah, that is the way I see GameStop. It's bloody marvellous.
And once again, a toast to those fine people of Reddit. Well, you're probably not fine, but you've done well on this occasion. To you guys, I raise a glass.